Yeah, nice to see you too, bro. Yeah, no doubt. All right, let's get started. Fighthype.com, Sean Zatel here with the youngest super middleweight champion in the sports history, my man David Benavides, right. defending, defending the interim title on Showtime's last pay-per-view against Demetrius Andrade, another undefeated guy. And, and David, I know you grew up watching HBO and Showtime. What do you think of the fact that you're the last big pay-per-view fight on premium network uh, television? And do you does it make you want to do – I know you always go for the knockout, but does it make you want to produce something special and thoughts on all that? Yeah, it's it's honestly a big deal for me. You know, I grew up watching Showtime Boxing and HBO Boxing. So, I mean, just having a legendary um, telecast that, uh, you know, pot, that uh, that produces boxing like that, you know, it's – it's uh. Something I've always watched, so I definitely want to. I want to uh, make it go out with a bang. You know, I want to have a, a great performance, and that's exactly what we're going to do November twenty fifth. Man, is that a, is that a little bit of a shiner I see on the right eye? Is sparring being real uh, physical and, and and real good sparring? Well, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, everything is hard work. We have some hard sparring partners here, and sometimes you get hit. You know what I mean? That's exactly what happens. That's what happens when you're doing hard work. Um. Sometimes the fucking punches get through. So, you know, we're having some really great sparring. You know, we have some good uh, sparring partners that emulate Boo Boo. And we're having, you know, really good sparring sessions. Do you see any of that stuff on Twitter about about your your preparation or the, the sparring? I think it's funny because I'm reading about it and then I see the shiner and I'm like, it looks like some pretty good sparring's happening in the gym. Um, yeah, thoughts on that? What, what exactly is the stuff I don't really get on Twitter? What are they saying on Twitter? Well, that good. You should probably keep it that way. Twitter does kind of suck. Uh, Rick Glazer, uh, the guy who who broke the news about Showtime and everything, he he said uh, you you only have Dennis Douglin in, who's who's more of a, a, a you know aggressive guy than a boxer. And meanwhile, he's hearing Andrade's getting all this wonderful sparring. And yeah, what's what's your reaction to that? Well, Dennis Douglin is not even here no more. So whatever the fuck his name is, he's a fucking idiot. So he should keep his mouth shut. You know, whatever the fuck that is, but. We got, you know, we got good sparring partners here. We don't, you know, we haven't, we worked with Dennis Douglas the first couple of weeks, but he's not here no more. So we got good sparring partners here. And David, uh, talking about your opponent, Boo Boo Andrade, he, he, he talked to Brian Custer, said uh, his Thanksgiving dinner is going to be you. He's going to season you and he feels like he can hit you with shots that surprise you with his power. Uh, what do you think about what Demetrius is saying? Well, you know, I hope, he, you know, he, he could do something good in the ring. You know, I mean, that's why we're training extremely hard for this fight. Um, it's a good fight. You know, Andre is a good opponent, you know, it's, so I definitely have to bring 100 percent to him. As for him saying I'm going to be his Thanksgiving meal, I know he's wrong about that. You know, I'm going in there. I'm working as hard as he is, you know, probably if not harder. So we'll see who the best man is. Like I said, it's always been like this. It's whoever works the hardest, whoever trains the hardest. That's why we took this good fight, because we know it's going to be a, you know, a really tough fight. But I'm willing to take the challenge. You know, I'm in. I'm willing to go in there and give it all I have, and I know it's going to be more than enough to get the job done. I know you have to prepare for everything as a fighter, but when you hear him talking about I'm going to hurt him, and does part of you think, no, you're not. You're going to look to move around all night and fight in that type of style. Um, to be honest with you, I'm. I'm just. I'm ready for whatever comes my way. If he's really going to going to want to stay there you know really brawl we can brawl if he's gonna, make, he's gonna make me chase him all night then that's what i'm going to do you know i i'm going to follow my game plan you know i know there's stuff that he does that i know he's going to do for a fact but if he says that he's going to go in there and beat me up supposedly then <laughs> fine he could come try i'm not going to shy away from that so we'll see what he does um if he fights one way i have a, I have a plan for that if he fights another way i have a plan for that too at, at this stage you have to play you have to have plan a b and c so, I mean, that's exactly what we're doing, and uh, we're working hard, and I can't wait for November 25th. All right, man. And just lastly on Andrade, um, how do you envision this fight going? Do you do you have a round? Do you, do you see it playing out a certain way in your head? And, and also on top of that, what do you think is going to be better about David Benavidez from the plant fight to this fight? To be honest with you, I'm going to beat the fuck out of him. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just working hard, bro. I'm working on everything. I feel really good this camp. I've been just three, same three month camp, working hard, fucking sparring 12, 13, 14 rounds, four different sparring partners. It's the same routine. You know, we've used this recipe for all the fights, so we're going to keep using it. I mean, all fights come out really good. There's some stuff that we have to work on, and some, some stuff that we've been working on in the preseason. So, you know, I feel like, you know, you guys are going to see, you know, everything. You guys are going to see speed. 
head movement, power, defense. You're gonna see everything. You know, punches and bunches. So I've been, I'm really excited for this fight. You know, um, there's not been a lot of tension in the fight, but we've been both working hard, and I've been working extremely hard in the gym. So this is gonna be a classic David Benavides fight. I'm gonna go in there and beat the shit out of him, throw a lot of punches, and then give the fans what they want to see. I'm looking forward to the fight as always, brother. Thank you, David, for your time. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thanks, guys.